Oh man, dang it. I gotta go back. Oh, I didn't mean you. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna make that jump. Uh, let's see. Alright, that's fine. I can just fall. Cool. Just like that. Frost catching in my throat. Yeah, okay. You gotta go straight up. This is what I wanted to check out. Oh, so it just brings you the same way regardless. Well, that's something. Since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now, I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand and coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days... Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Climbing in this game isn't. You don't have to be as focused, I guess. You don't have to be as focused in this uh, in this game. Climbing's pretty easy. You just like hold the direction, press jump. She leaps. There are some sections. There are some jumps that I guess are big enough that warrant like it being more cinematic than it needs to be. And uh, the game actually go into like a force like slow down to see if you you know made the jump. But you've already made the jump, so there's no like real chance that you can fail it. This up at the first time. Whatever. I mean, I click take all. I normally do take all anyway, so. Way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. Take this other dog run front and put Dex out the back. Don't let them dogs get together in a while, huh? Cause Zion ain't gonna know. She gonna wanna go out there with Dexter. And she gonna want Dexter to meet the other dog. Okay? Alright. What is at the top of this thing? There better be a power battery up here. This is pretty far up. Another power cell. Good. 
This should help me get to that ancient armor. I was about to say, there better be another power cell. Something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're killing robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. Show me the data then. And we'll take that lunch. Alone. Tomorrow <laughs> brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another son has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, th you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean? Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fire has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. 
footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? I, mean, I got dark Why is she real quick. Stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift open. Add up. Yeah, this was so kind of like cool. Couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Let's see, if you're so smart, you don't understand. I see your point. You know what? We're gonna go rogue on this one. If you're so smart, why do you know so little after a lifetime scratching around in the dirt? It's not my fault you're bad at what you do. I came to these ruins looking for Elizabeth Sobek, not because of the things she did centuries ago, but because people are trying to kill me right now, today. I've got bigger problems to deal with than your crap. Congratulations. You just graduated from whining to throwing a temper tantrum. I'm sure Elizabeth would be proud. You need to get a grip on yourself and start thinking straight. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus 